here today in Shangri-La. This is only a short snippet today, just having a look at micro pellet. Something we've started stocking in the tackle shop. Bang on, perfect for PVA bags. You can also use it in your ground bait. So today we're just gonna have a quick look, applying this pellet, making the most out of it. Not only do these pellets have a high protein content, but they're also a lovely smell to them, very similar to the existing 12 mil fish meal pellets. Let's have a look how we can get these in a few bags tied up and put to good use. Also, applying a couple of different glugs to that in the form of tuna and mackerel oil and also tuna extract glug. Now you're probably wondering why I've got a syringe here. In case you are wondering, I'll show you in a second. This is an ideal way of keeping things clean and tidy when you're tying up bags. I'll show you now. Start off with the second pellets finger and thumbs like me it can be tricky getting these bags open especially if you get damp so you keep them dry shouldn't be a problem start filling up your bag I'm just keeping inside the pellet bag itself to keep things nice and tidy always leave a bit of a gap at the top just to seal it now me personally I just like to just lick and stick these there we are that's that sealed now, all I'm going to do is keep it simple, I'm just going to fold them over. Fold over them corners, seal it down, same on the other side. Fold them over, seal it down. Nice simple bag, doesn't matter if it's not 100%. We're not casting fire out, we're not finished with this. I'm going to inject some more flavours into there. You can tell I've got a good seal here because it's all in the air inside. Not to worry, there we are, nice simple bag, nice and easy. Now let's have a look at how we're going to get our oils in there, that's a ring. Bag, I'm going to use some tuna and mackerel oil. Pop the top, pop the rubber insert which keeps things sealed if you do take things home with you. Out comes the syringe, just be careful obviously it's a sharp object. You're as daft as me, you know, we've all had mishaps with baking needles in the past. Pop that on there. In she goes. Nice, simple method. I want them not messing about. Plenty of flavour, plenty of fish. Tap off any excess. Take one of your bags. It's pretty simple. Whatever you do here, make sure you don't go all the way through. I did do this the other day, I didn't realise I'd gone out the other side and sprayed all my, sprayed myself full of tuna oil. Not the best idea. Just go through one layer and in she goes. Fill it up. Obviously it's an oil so it's not water based. Plenty of this in your bag. I'm going to soak in 10 pellets. There's no mess, nothing on my hands. It's gone through, it. it's lovely. If you want to do two or three, up to you. Me and myself, I think one will be enough. Just gonna roll that round, let that dissipate within the pellets. It's come through to the other side, it's spreading around nicely. Ideal. Nicely packed, no mess, no hands, nothing on the rods. Spot on. Ideal. Alternatively, you can use different gloves, such as tuna extract glove. Same thing again, pop your top, get your needle. Now, with these thicker gloves, a lot of this does depend on the actual diameter of your needle. This is quite a big diameter, so it should take this fine. Lovely, 10 mil of tuna extract glove, just what the doctor ordered. Same again, grab your bag, make sure you don't go all the way through. Take your time, and then she goes. No rush, you can see it's spreading out, just take it nice and easy. Full lot in there. Again, you could put a mixture. The only thing you might struggle with using this method is the sugar cane extract. So that's thicker viscosity once again. Spot on. Just make sure to put a few pin pricks just before you cast. Again, be careful if you are using a syringe, or you might just use a baiting needle. Put a few pin pricks around this. That'll let any of the air escape upon impact and it won't rip your bag 
off from your leg. Sit, good to go. You can see the oil is really spreading out now. The more pinpricks you make in this, you've got to be careful. You are going to get oil leaking out, so it's the last thing you do before you cast out. Don't forget though, otherwise your bag might rip off. Perfect. There you go, nice and simple. Lovely pellets, twinned in with a bit of glug. There you have it, nice little food package. Lock it straight on. Get it into position and get them Siamese carp caught.